Hello, so we are back and this time we have uh, a customer job Actually, it's the same customer with the job from yesterday, you remember? So we fixed the gold laptop <laughs> which was the ace of the Chromebook and this laptop uh, Does power uh, on okay the screens uh, but no picture yeah, so that's the problem with this one so we have to fix his second laptop he sent the laptop like that, you know, I, I haven't touched it. Okay, so that's the laptop, it's a nice Fujitsu Siemens laptop. Or it's only Fujitsu. Okay, the problem is, it's no battery. Let me grab a charger from somewhere. It's a round pin, if I remember, yeah, it is. Yeah. Plug in the charger, pressing the power button, and it is coming on. You can see it's coming on. Let's check the voltage on the screen connector. Let's see what do we have here. Uh, so what is here? The screen connector is looking good. I mean, here are two screens. Three pins together, you have 1.7 volts. Uh, two pins together, we have zero. Okay, this doesn't look good. So basically, we don't have the main power rail, I mean, we don't have the 3.3, right? Kind of bad, if you ask me. Kind of bad. So we have to open the laptop and check inside. Yeah. To see what's going on there, but it looks bad. I mean, I seen uh, we both missing. I mean, 19 and 3.3. .3. But if the man played with the screen, yeah, with the, you know, or the customer played with the screen, swapping screens, uh, can happen to have like a dead uh, GPU or. Uh, you know, some blow off, some things from the 3.3 volts power rail. I mean, can be very, very bad. So the screen connector is coming here. I will say let's take it out and let's have a look around the screen connector. Let's see what we have there. Oh, okay. Let's check. Any fuse? We are that lucky to have some fuses here. We do have fuses. Check there. <laughs> we do have fuses. But I'm more concerned about the 3.3. .3. So what is here? This fuse is gone. Yeah. This is gone. And on the 3.3 .3 I can't see fuse. And that's bad. So if I remember the 3.3 .3 was on two pins here. Right? Okay, let's do something. Let's just replace the... Let's replace the, the 19 volts fuse, and after that, let's test and uh, see what's going on with the 3.3. .3. Maybe the 3.3 .3 volts is present, I don't know. But that's what we found, and we're going to fix this. Can we? You know what? These fuses want to stay there. So I, I will say, you know, just let's uh, let's let the fuse there because the fuse is feeling comfortable there, so that's fine.
Wait, here is a bridge? Yeah. Lol. Here is a bridge. Like a solder bridge. And that's fine. Let's try and test and see if it's working. Uh, you know what? I will use my power supply this time because uh, I'm not sure what will gonna happen. You remember last time the Lenovo laptop? Actually, that fuse didn't blow up for no reason. So let's be careful. Okay, my power supply and my power supply. I need a connector with round pin. Like the Toshiba. Yeah, this one is perfect. About 2 amps, we plug the charger and it's fine. 10 milliamps, which is fine. Where is the power button? Wait, let's see where is the power button. So the power button is here. And I can't see any, oh yeah, it is a ribbon cable, this one. We can do it, we can do it. It's not taking current, right? That's a good thing. Good, let's press the power button and it's taking like 900 one amp and we have white screen yeah we have white screen huh? <laughs> you know what big light it's easy to be fixed but to have white screen hmm <laughs> Doesn't look good. Okay, let's unplug this screen and let's try the other screen. Let's try this screen. Plug in the charger and it's not taking current, which is good. Pressing the power button. It's taking one amp, and we have white screen. <laughs> this is bad. Why? Why screen is bad? Why screen is bad? It's the worst fault because you can have another GPU. I mean, I'm hoping the 3.3 volts is missing. I will check one more time. But it's kind of uh, end of story. If we have 3.3, it's nothing what we can check and what we can do. Here is 5 volts. Here is nothing. Here is nothing. I, I suppose here should be 3.3. Yeah? So I will say let's take the power supply and let's come with 3.3 there. And let's see if we can trigger the screen. The laptop just went off. Oh, I changed the voltage. Ah, okay, let's plug the other uh, charger. Let me plug the other charger. Let me turn on the laptop again. I mean, 
if we co if, you, if we are coming with a power supply of 3.3 and the screen is coming on, then uh, yeah, we can fix it. Yeah, the laptop is on. You can't see it. It's still white screen. So what do you what do we want? We want 3.3 there. Yeah. So come, let's come with the power supply. Let's lower the voltage. 3.2. Yeah, that's good. Less current. Let's come with 3.3 here. And I have picture, you can't believe that, but it's taking 450 milliamps. 900 milliamps. Wait, wait, wait. It, this, this is not good. This is not good. So pay attention here. Yeah, white screen. And when I come with 3.3, oh, I can't see anything now. That's how you check. That's how you, you test. With 3 point check, you can see some lines on the screen. Yeah, you can see picture. It is picture. You can see it. But of course, this screen is faulty. <sighs> okay, you know what? Uh, this is not that bad. That's mean the... Um, what's wrong with my camera? Why the picture, the view is here? You know what's the problem? The problem is... Uh, what's the problem? I, I don't know what's the problem. Let's see if it's taking current without the screen connector, yeah? Let's see if it's taking current. Microscope. So I took out the screen connector. Now let's see. It's taking no current. Okay, so we don't have a short. This is good, yeah? I mean, it's not good. Probably something is blow up on the other side of the board. But at least it's nothing shorted. Good. I mean, it's bad. It's not good because we have to take the board out. No. It's more work. <laughs> more work. Why, why they didn't put the fuses on this side of the board? Lol, you know what is here? So here is hot glue. That's crazy. And it's not my job. It's not my job. Here is, you see, it's, it's hot glue. People are people are, are learning fast. <laughs> That's not my job. I didn't do it. Okay, so we have the board here. Let's see why why we don't have three point three there. So the the connector where it is is here. Yeah. So we should check around here. I can't really see what we can see. But yeah, let's have a look. So basically here on the other side of the board we have the connector exactly here. Do you see anything? Mm -hmm. You can see any fuse, you know, a fuse will be helpful if you can see one, if you can spot one. Let me take the raw memory out. Uh, no. That's not fair, guys. Why you don't help me? Wait, what is here? This is liquid damage? Wait, this, this is liquid damage. Check here. LOL, and this is the chipset. Okay, let's clean it quickly. Good, it's like new. Perfect. But still didn't figure it out why we don't have... Uh, why we don't have... Uh, look, more liquid damage here. Why we don't have 3.3 there? Mm. Why we I mean, even with schematic, you can't fix a fault like this. 
because you need the board view to know where the truck is going. No, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I'm really sorry. So I'm not sure what we should do. Where this truck is going, this one. You see this one? This one. That the big it's a big truck, like three volts. It's going somewhere. What is here? Yeah, it's just a bridge. Well, that's a fuse. Uh, probably it's not what we are looking for. What is this circuit? This one. What is this circuit? Let's check together. I mean, how you will fix a fall like this? You know, I always try to learn from you guys, you know, I'm curious how everyone is, uh, you know, having their, uh, no, it's not this one, having their, their own approach to a fault, you know, like how you fix a fault like this, mm -hmm. no, it's not going here, no, what is going, it's going here, no, no. Okay, you know what I will do? Because there's nothing else what I can do. I'll keep a probe here and I'll try to beep the whole board. Oh, lol, it's beeping here. Here, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, lol, we have a fuse here. How, do, how did I miss this fuse? So it's coming here. And here is no beeping, here is beeping. Lol. That's a second fuse. You know what? We don't need the hot, we don't need the hot air. It's fine. Okay, you know what? I seen uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday, uh, I seen in yesterday video. Yeah, the one which I uploaded. Uh, people being funny about the fuses, those kind of fuses. So let me show you how you calibrate a fuse, a fuse like this. Yeah. I mean, okay. Just leave it as the joke in one side. Uh, we are we are not sure about the the the. the you know, probably this is over one amp, this wire. Yeah, it's a big wire, right? Okay. So you have to make that fuse more sensitive. Right? So how you can do it? That's the question. Good, so the fuse is on place. <clears throat> now let's clean it a little bit. Just to be clean. Yeah, so basically we took the board out for nothing. Okay, so it is clean. So now indeed we have a fuse there. Uh, let me 
try to focus how much I can. Okay, so that's our fuse. How we are calibrating the fuse? I mean, calibrate. We have to lower, you know, the blow up current. <gasps> I got it. Lol. Okay. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen. I tried to prove the point. You know, I just tried to make like a small cut there. Ah. Uh... I'm trying, you know, to defend myself. Can't believe I fail. And now I heat up, uh, and it's getting desolder. That's sick. Okay. Never mind. We are uh, we are spending time here for nothing. Okay, but you got the point, yeah? So basically you make a cut into the wire and yeah, that's the way how you lower the blow up current, yeah? Just have in mind. You know what, but let's try again. Yeah, let's try again. Okay, he sold it. Let's try again. This copper is too soft and it's getting break easily. Let's just make a cut. Yeah, like that one. Yeah, you see, I made a cut there. Probably you can't see it. Let's clear it. I can't see it. It's a cut there on the middle. Yeah. So basically, that's how you lower. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I took the board out for nothing. Actually, the fuses was on this side. Okay. Let me put it all back together. I will edit the video. Quick fast forward. Yeah. It took me like more than a half an hour to put only this back together. I mean, the keyboard was not working, the touchpad was not working, the DVD was not going inside. Crazy. Yeah? So everything is working fine. The fault was quite clear, you know, the both fuses are missing, was uh, burned. But have in mind, that's what I want to retain from this uh, video. 19, yeah? 3.3. Then you have the other scene, two signals for the backlight here, yeah? the dim and the LED on. Okay, so I'll stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and see you on the next one. Bye.